yes, so we use analytics and metrics a ton to make decisions within the Washington Post. Um, a couple of examples are how we design the page, how do we market to subscribers, how do we set the paywall, and what types of content are we um, distributing on what platforms. So there's a wide variety of metrics that we use to make these decisions, as well as we do a lot of testing and optimization on all the aspects uh, of the Washington Post business. So the interesting thing is being at this conference and hearing the wide diversity of different types of revenue streams that a lot of publishers have. We, the vast, vast majority of our revenue comes from four sources. Print advertising revenue, print subscription revenue, digital advertising revenue, and digital subscription revenue. And it's fairly evenly divided upon those. So what we have really been focused on in terms of using analytics is figuring out ways to optimize and increase the amount of revenue from each source. Ranging from, you know, I spoke more about subscriptions in my presentation, but we've done a lot of testing and research on different types of advertising. We'll bring people into our user labs to show them different experiences. We'll run tests on the pages of different density of ads and frequency of ads to see how it impacts overall usage and behavior. And of course, we do a ton of work in terms of figuring out how to get more, using data to figure out how to get more people to subscribe to the Washington Post. And once they do subscribe, make sure that they continue to be paying subscribers. My team has developed something that we call the Author Dash. And so what that does is it allows every single reporter to go in every day, look at the content that they wrote, the stories that they wrote in the previous day, how did it perform, where did it do particularly well, um, trends, et cetera. So that gives every reporter the information they need to know about their own performance. More importantly, we work closely with editors and then senior executives to look at um, higher level trends of what type of stories are doing where, well, where they're doing well, and do we see any common themes across that. That allows editors to make decisions in the medium term about how to allocate resources, where to invest, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a good question, and one of the things that I mentioned in my presentation yesterday is it really depends on what your particular goal is. And as I, as I mentioned, what the high-level goals of the Washington Post has evolved even over the last few years. So we really focused in the sort of 2013 to 2015, 2016 range on growing our overall reach, both nationally and internationally. Um, and we did that by diversifying the platforms we published on, uh, making aggressive outreach in terms of press and things like that. And when, it was, when we were really focused on that, the metrics that we paid attention to were things like the total number of unique visitors that come to the site. Something else that we regularly measure is we ask Americans in the US, it's not known that it's the Washington Post asking, who read news, please name several, up to three sources that you think of when thinking of online news. So we look to see if there's been movement in terms of the percentage of Americans that mention the Washington Post. So those are the sorts of metrics when we were looking really focused on brand and audience. As we're now more focused um, on revenue, um, harvesting revenue, we look at things like how many subscribers came, you know, started each day. What is the net change in subscribers? How has retention rate changed over time? And as I mentioned, what types of stories are actually driving um, incremental subscriptions? This has been, I mean, it's been great for me for two reasons. One is this is my first time at a WAN IFRA conference, and it's also my first time to Columbia. So I've been enjoying both aspects of that. And it's been really great to see um, such a diversity of publishers presenting here um, from really small startups to huge conglomerates. And I think 
no matter how big or successful from you are, you are, you, there are always so many things you can learn. So I, I've enjoyed picking up the various nuggets.